Biofuels are under fire, but can also be produced sustainably. Take for example the production of Jatropha oil in Tanzania, which takes people and the environment into account. Jatropha is a wild plant which even grows in very arid soil. When the fruit is pressed, it releases pure vegetable oil from which biodiesel can be made. A Dutch company has seized the opportunity to stimulate small farmers to plant Jatropha. In northern Tanzania, around a thousand farmers are already actively working with this plant, which provides them with supplementary income. Unaweza uka, ukapalia mara moja tu kama sasa hivi unavyofanya hivi kukatakata hizi miti baadaye nitapanda mazao mengine ndani kwa hiyo haina sara yote kwangu kwa hiyo inakuwa haina sumu ya yote ambayo inaweza kutoa matatizo yetu no poison and the biomass important in this discussion is that Jotropha contributes hardly anything to CO2 emissions and doesn't compete with the food chain at least if it's produced correctly. To investigate this, a group of civil servants and professionals from the energy sector, plus some representatives from idealistic organizations, is flying to the Jatropha plantations at the foot of Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. This is Jatropha oil. It has just been extracted and let sediment for some time, and then it was filtered using the filter machine that you see there. They are observing the so-called Krama criteria, named after the Dutch environment minister, which exactly defines which demands biofuels must meet before they can be called sustainable. The uh, primary aim uh, of these targets is, of course, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. They talk to various farmers and experts with, among other things, the following result. Recent Dutch calculations demonstrate that Jatropha delivers a 60 to 70 percent CO2 profit as an energy plant, compared to fossil fuel created energy, depending on the way it's grown and produced. And no trees in this region have to be felled for Jatropha. Even better, Jatropha reduces the effect of the already ongoing massive deforestation. Jatropha gives the deforested soil new firmness and therefore helps in the battle against soil erosion. Je hebt een heleboel verschillende soorten biobrandstoffen. De reden dat Jatropha zo mooi is, is dat je het op gronden kunt zetten die marginaal zijn. En waar normaal geen voedselproductie wordt toegepast. Hier zie je dus duidelijk dat Jatropha niet in plaats van voedselgewas er staat. Maar het staat gewoon samen op een veld. Het is een toevoeging zelfs. De area is usually intercrop. With yeah. maize, tobacco and beans. With intercropping, you create the opportunity to grow energy plants next to food plants. But still in Tanzania, our farmers, they have a big land, I can tell you. Yeah? The big land which is not used at all. I was able to get the land and I was able to get the land because I was able to get the land mbolea mazao katika jumuiya kwa sababu kwanza ni zao ambayo haina gharama haipigwi dawa kwa hiyo inaweza kutopa kipato kizuri tu and finally the seeds provide the farmers with supplementary income although not everyone is happy with the price paid by the dutch company naona kwa mkulima kama hawa tuliko hapa 
kwa kweli itakuwa ni ndogo sana The result of this trip among other things is that the Max Havelar Foundation is considering adding its brand to the production of this kind of biofuel. Ik denk dat het heel erg de moeite waard is om te zien of we dit kunnen laten slagen. Het is niet schinda schinda. Ik weet het niet zeker. Schinda schinda. Schinda schinda. Win win schinda schinda.